Have you ever asked yourself, what's my purpose? Where do I belong? No, it just wasn't Barbie that was asking, what was I made for? God has a specific calling, a purpose for you, and we're gonna get right into it today. Stay right here. So glad you joined me today. I'm Amy and this is Stick With The Plan. And I was just thinking about, when I was thinking about the Barbie movie and I heard that song, What Was I Made For? And I started thinking, so many people ask that. I bet that's the number one question asked to ministers and mentors. What's my purpose? What, what does God have me here for? Now, my Barbies look a little rough. They're from back in my day. <laughs> but these guys, I, I pulled them out just to give you the illustration of them. But you know, they felt you know a little lost because it was all about them is there more to life and there is there's a true satisfaction that comes from knowing the Lord knowing his purpose upon your life now my point number one is don't get mad at God many people are searching what's my purpose where do I belong who are my people what am I supposed to do with my life and uh, you know I had a friend and she gave me this testimony of her life she said I was so upset she said I was born into a home where my parents were divorced when I was little she said it seemed like they didn't even want me I didn't belong there uh, you know her mother wasn't that nurturing so she lived with her father and she said one day she was so frustrated as a teenager that she just ran out to the woods and she began to call out upon God and she said Lord why am I here she said God what am I doing here what have you called me to what is my purpose she said you know she just felt so lost and as she just poured her heart out to the Lord she's out in the woods all by herself just talking to him she said when she got done just saying how mad she was she wished she wasn't even born and and she got all that out of her heart and she said Amy I felt like God was listening and she said I left that place of frustration feeling like he heard me and that he loved me and so she said from that point on when she was a teenager instead of being frustrated she decided to get in the Word of God and see what it says about her the plants see what God said about her purpose she said she found Jeremiah 29 11 that says for the plans I have for you they are of good and not of evil to give you a future and a hope that she did have a future. She did have a hope that God had an expected end for her. So instead of complaining and griping and feeling sorry for herself, she said, no, I begin to pursue the plan. I begin to seek God. And it's neat that you can use your faith in that way as well. Instead of always saying, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I don't know what my gifts are. I don't know where God has me. Say, thank you, Lord. You have a plan for me. Thank you. I, I have a purpose. Thank you, Lord, that I'm not a mistake. We know what uh, Ephesians 2.10 says, that we are God's masterpiece. We are God's workmanship, some translations say. Then we are made for good works in Christ Jesus that we should fulfill them. These good things, they've been prepared before the foundations of the earth for us to walk in. You're very special. You're just not, you know, you just weren't your mom's making or your dad's making or, or what social media tells you. No, you were created by God for such a specific purpose. You're precisely made. Nobody has your skin tone. Nobody has your eyes. You can be recognized by just your eyes, by your fingerprints. Everyone is different. Nobody has your hair. You're so unique and genuinely made that your purpose is the same way. It fits you and it's fun. So don't be frustrated. You're not going to be mad at God. And then my point number two is go ahead and get moving. People will stay on the sofa just going, oh God, what's my purpose? What do you want me to do? And they never step into anything. Jump in to something you know go ahead take that job at least you'll find out what you don't want to do go ahead volunteer in that place in the church at least you'll see okay I don't like that or you could love that and you'll develop in it and you'll be promoted and and you'll increase in that area and you'll see more and more gifts because once you step out in your purpose it attracts more purpose you're you'll find people that are just like you you'll find more friends I always say don't propose until you find your purpose because your purpose will attract the right proposal <laughs> the right spouse, the right husband, the right wife for you. So today, you're not gonna be frustrated with the call. No, thank God that you know his plans are good and you hear from heaven about them. And go ahead, get moving. Go ahead, step out in the direction you feel the most joy in. And that's all you'll stick with the plans he has for you. Thank you so much for joining me today. I love hearing all that God is doing in your life. And thank you, thank you for sharing this. New friends are watching this because you are sharing this. If you're on YouTube, hit that subscribe button. Leave us a comment. If you're on Facebook, like this page. We'll have a brand new video for you next week. And remember, every Tuesday, we are live. I'll see you then.